What is up everybody, Luke Film Boss here, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience on National Cinema Day, which was on August 27th this year, and the movie tickets were all $4 a piece, no matter what format. It was a fun time. So, I started off by watching the Meg to the Trench in 3D, and that was pretty fun. Then I went on to watch Gran Turismo, and it was so much better than I thought it was going to be. And then I ended off the night with the 50th anniversary showing of American Graffiti. So I'm going to do kind of a triple header review here where I'm going to talk about each film briefly and then give you my rating on it. So starting off with The Meg 2, I liked it. It was a standard, generic, fun, you know, creature feature action movie. And I would have liked it to be better. The characters are paper thin, and the plot is kind of uninteresting. The plot is essentially just a slightly more developed version of the first one, only seemed to be, you know, written a little bit worse. But overall, I enjoyed it. There's likable enough characters, they're fun enough to watch on screen, and you get to see all of these giant animals and things, you know, clashing on screen and it's just a fun action movie not great but more enjoyable than I thought it had any right to be so I give the Meg a 74% in quality and 80% in enjoyment for an overall score of 77% now moving on you know racing into the next one with Gran Turismo uh, this is a movie that I thought was going to be extremely boring kind of basic maybe kind of generic like it's a basic sports movie it might be good but it's gonna be a little bit you know of a drag to watch it's gonna be a drag to sit through i i was surprised because gran turismo is actually you know really really entertaining it's very emotionally compelling and gripping and it's just an interesting you know story an in interesting concept so the movie follows the main character yan and there is a big you know important element there between yan and his father and how their relationship kind of is because the father wants Jan to be successful and he wants what's best for his son and he doesn't want his son chasing these you know impossible seemingly dreams that Jan has and so the son basically wants to prove to his father yes he can he can turn this thing that he has a passion for a love for uh, which is this uh, racing which he's been really into the sim the racing simulator and he ends up being able to turn that into an actual job like an actual dream of his to race real cars so there's a lot of good stuff there between him and the father and him and his like mentor slash coach which is played by david harper there's a lot of good stuff here and an interesting thing like done in the racing action scenes is and i appreciate it there's like text that shows you which car Jan is racing and what place he's in. And it just helps you be able to follow the races a lot better. And there's just some interesting things that this movie does. And it ends up being a really good movie. Um, a lot of good conclusion at the end. A lot of good suspense and, you know, ups and downs in the movie. It's a solid film. So I give Gran Turismo an 85% across the board quality enjoyment. It's just a really solid film. And then, American Graffiti, that was a movie. That was a really good movie. Perfect film for me to end the night off. Watching George Lucas's, I think it's his first film that he did. It's his, you know, it's really good. It's a solid film. And it's so different from the work he did later with Indiana Jones, Star Wars, and Willow. American Graffiti is just about these teenagers you know, enjoying their last night together before we like going to college or going, you know, off to do whatever. They're just, you know, riding around town late at night in a big city. And there's, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend drama. There's, you know, drama with, you know, all sorts of different people. And there's a lot of good humor. It's such a fun movie. So, you know, unique. It's got that really good, you know, dialogue that a lot of older movies from that era tended to have and George Lucas definitely brought it to life the acting is really good we've got Harrison Ford in there you've got Ron Howard in there just a lot of good you know good big name actors and then 
Some of them are actors I'm not familiar with, but everybody just does a fantastic job in this movie. It was very well directed, very fun. I give American Graffiti a 91% in quality and 89% in enjoyment for an overall score of 90%. So that's what I thought about the movies that I saw this National Cinema Day. I'm looking forward to next year, seeing what movies will be out that I'll be able to watch very cheaply next year. And I just hope you enjoyed my take on these movies. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help you be on the lookout for more videos from Luke Film Boss. Bye.